Welcome. In this video, let's look at the difference between a markup and a profit margin and practice calculating a company's profit using both approaches. Let's make a column for each approach and use a standard template or pro forma to do the calculations. Next, I'll make a simplified P&L statement. So that will start with sales, from which we will subtract cost of sales, and we'll be left with a company's profit. And I'm going to compare a percentage with a dollar amount. And I'll use the same layout under margin. If we're talking about a markup, it means we start with the cost of sales, the cost of producing our goods. And there, we will put a 100%. Markup, we're going to go up. And we will then add that 20% to the 100. So we'll have 120%. And if I subtract the cost of sales from the sales, I will be left with 20% as the profit. Next to the cost of sales, I'll now plug in the 125,000. And then using the concept of ratios, I'll multiply the 125 by the 120, divide by 100, and I can get the markup selling price, which is 150,000. And if I subtract the cost of sales from the sales, I'll be left with a profit of 25,000. Let's compare that to a profit margin. Here, we're starting at the top and we are working down. So I will put 100% next to sales and the profit margin is 20%. We're comparing 20% in both approaches. So now 20% of the selling price or of the sales is the profit. So the balancing figure then would be the cost of sales, 80%. The next step is to plug the cost of sales into its place in the P&L. And we'll use the same approach. We'll multiply the 125,000 by 100, then divide by 80. And that's how we'll get the selling price. And if we do the math, we get 156, 250. And then the last step is always the same. We subtract the cost of sales from the sales, and we are left with 31250. That is the essential difference between a markup and a profit margin. Under markup, we start at cost of sales and go up, adding that markup. And under margin, we start at the sales with the 100%, and then the margin will be this bottom line here. Now that you know the system, you will have no trouble in your ACCA exams arriving at either a profit or a selling price using whichever approach you are asked to in the question. Imagine they tell you in the question that the company's sales are $700,000 and they tell you that the company works with a 35% markup
and you need to calculate the profit with this information. Please pause the video here, see if you can get the solution on your own, and then continue watching the video afterwards and we'll do it together. Welcome back. To solve this problem, we're going to use the system that I just showed you. We will use a template or pro forma. And the first column would be percentage second column would be the dollars the top row will be sales next row cost of sales and the next line will be profit and because they're asking for a markup we start with 100 percent at cost of sales to which we add the markup at the selling price, at the sales. And we subtract one from the other, and we know in percentage terms, the profit will be 35. But that's no problem. We can still get the answer. So I will now put the 700,000 here and I identify the missing spot in the P&L, and that's profit. So I find this figure and this figure here, and now all I need to do, working with the concept of ratios again, I'll multiply 700 times 35, divide by 135, and that comes to 181,482 dollars. Ladies and gentlemen, for the sake of completeness, let us try that again, but let's change it to a 35% margin or profit margin. Please pause the video and calculate the profit using a 35% profit margin. Welcome back. So first step, let's put 100% next to the sales. And now that margin comes down here. And the rest of this, easy peasy. We multiply 700 times 35 divided by 100 or 700,000 times 0 0.35, and we get $245,000. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the difference between a profit margin and a markup.